Hi, I'm Judy Lynn and welcome to the Monday Morning Shift and video three in a three-part series of Overcoming Vulnerability. Now in video one, we learned how raising our awareness to what triggers us to go into that terrible spin of feeling vulnerable is just the first step and key, though, to overcoming it. Discovering what limiting belief about ourselves we're still holding on to that isn't quite serving our best interest. In video two, we learned how to address that belief, the story behind it, realize the lie it's always been, and shift into an empowered belief, into the truth of who you really are by seeing it with a new set of eyes, changing our perception of it, and gaining clarity around it. There's so much freedom in that. Now I'm excited about this video. In this video, video number three, I'm gonna teach you something that you can do that will not only eliminate vulnerability, but will raise self-esteem and the level of joy you experience in every area of your life. Most of us are never taught this little trick. It's simple, so simple, but it's so very powerful. Validate yourself. Celebrate you. We do so much throughout each day and we never once, never once stop to smell the roses, so to speak. We never stop and say to ourselves, hey, I did a great job on that. Or, wow, I'm really proud of myself. Now we might, we might think or say something like that to ourselves on a big project or accomplishment that we've done, maybe. But what about all the little things that we do in our jobs, for our families, friends, community, or clients? I'm not talking about pumping yourself up in a boastful way, but rather in appreciation of who you are and the greatness that you offer each and every day. Look at it this way. When we have a child we adore, it's easy for us to point out all their good qualities and praise them highly, right? It is, right? Well, there is a child in you, you know, that needs that validation. The child in you that needs to be celebrated. Maybe you've never received that kind of validation when you were young. If that's the case, and it is for a lot of us, it's even more important that you give it to yourself now. You deserve it. The first thing that each and every one of us can begin celebrating is our courageous strength. We made it through some pretty tough times, right? We learned a lot from our past experiences. We persevered and we survived. We're still here. If we really think about any difficult experience and do the work to release the toxic emotions still connected to the memory of that experience, we can even come through with the gift of wisdom and a sense of purpose. You are courageous with more perseverance and strength than you have more than likely given yourself credit for. It's time to now. Start there. Then, then start paying attention to all the good in you and celebrate every day. Not just once in a while, but every single day. We're so good at this. We are so freaking good at easily developing the habit of self-criticism and judgment. But when it comes to validating the greatness in ourselves, we look the other way. It's time to make the switcheroo. Celebrate you now. To do that, we're going to rewire and tap in this new way of being. Are you ready? We'll start at the eyebrow point and just go through the points with me. And I want you to repeat after me. And if you can do this every day, that would really be awesome. This is all so new to me. I'm not used to celebrating myself. I'm open to giving myself the praise I deserve. I choose to celebrate me today. I choose to raise my awareness in this day and notice all the good that I do for others, at school, at work, on the road. I choose to do something nice for myself today. 
I celebrate me. I validate the good in me. Who I am. I am of source. I am love. And I give so much. I love with all my heart. I give it all to what I do. And I appreciate that about myself. I am committed to move out of judgment and criticism of others and of myself. And I honor that. I appreciate that about me. I am joy. I am love. I choose to let that shine. I'm committed to being the most excellent version of myself. I am. Thank you. I encourage you to do this every morning. You'll be amazed, truly, at how it changes the day ahead of you and how it will change you. You're worth the five minutes a day, aren't you? Celebrate you. Thank you for joining me in this three-part video series on overcoming vulnerability. I think by now you can see how with even just these three steps, it reaches far deeper than just vulnerability. You can begin to change anything in your life following these three simple steps. I love bringing these videos to you. And if you aren't already signed up for the Monday Morning Shift, where you can experience the results you're looking for through tapping, you can do that at HarmonicLivingNow.com and get a free tapping ebook to boot. Don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you're celebrating about yourself today. Until the next time, you guys, go out there and make it your own.